Hey guys, hope we're all well, hope we're all good. As you can see, I am doing a topless video right now. The reason for that is because what I want to talk about is, you know, it's Monday, I usually talk about training and fitness, and this is the video I've been playing on my mind. So I thought, you know what? I'll make a video topless. I want to talk about my, you know, like genetics, muscle building, and stuff like that. Like for me, I've been training for quite a few years now, so I have built a pretty good physique. But in terms of genetics, would I say I've got the best? Well, I don't really know, but I wouldn't say I've got the best genetics for sure. Because uh, I'm not like a, a huge muscular guy. Naturally, I had to kind of build and maintain that. Some people, without even touching a dumbbell, have you had, you know, surely you've known those guys when you was growing up, when you went to school, and you had those guys who were just, just kind of big, you know, buff kind of guys, like when they were hit puberty, they just kind of blow up because maybe because their genetics. I hired my testosterone test, um, like I said, a few months ago. I had high testosterone pretty much, but still, you know, doesn't necessarily reflect on how you're going to look. I mean, like I say, by, by for most people's parts, uh, if I, you know, most people don't look like me anyway. Um, so I can always hold that in kind of a, like, oh, well, you know, most people don't train, most people don't track their diet. Most people, you know, don't kind of take their health and fitness seriously. So I, I, I could sit there and go, oh, man, I am not the best genetics and stuff and what's the point in training like one of my friends he's uh he's he's pretty big he's got you know probably better genetic muscle building genetics than me but you know it doesn't mean i i, I can't enjoy training and in training with him because potentially he's got better genetics it's you know what i mean you have to deal with what the card you've got and make the best of, of that really that's what you have to do and i could easily just say oh man you know Let's give up this whole fitness weight training thing, but you know, I'm not Mr. Olympia or I'm not Four Beyonce or anything like that. I'm not crazy, like crazy genetics. Like, there's one guy who was having an arm wrestle with light wheels. Um, my friend sent me a DM about it, and it was just this huge, hulking guy. I mean, it's like Viking genetics or some, you know, stuff like that. But Ultimately, you know, if you haven't got the best genetics for muscle building or whatever that may be, you've got to just max out the best you can and really, really uh, max out your own potential, you know. Like I say, I, I know that I can, you know, without sounding too idiot, egotistical, I can go to a swimming bath or a swimming pool or a beach. Most people... Even though fitness is definitely getting popular now, which is a good thing, and people are, you know, getting in shape and wanting to look good and feel good. Um, but for the most part, I know that I can go to like a local beach, and most people ain't gonna look like me. It's as simple as that. Purely because they probably, you know, they might go to the gym, but they might just go through the motions with it. They don't really, you know, take the fitness so seriously. They just go out, go in there, and that's fine. You know what I mean? Most people don't want to step it up. They're just like, well, I'd like to go to the gym, feel good, and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But, but for me, it's always I've always loved gym. I always did the results, and I've always wanted to kind of look that part as well. And, you know, by the best way to do that is try your workouts, try your calories, what gets tracked gets managed, and then boom, and then you can look potentially the best you can uh, look. But at the same time, like I say, coming back to the next, I could probably look up and be like, oh man, you know, they can just literally look at a dumbbell and yeah, they get they get big, they get look good, get massive. But for me, it's, you know, I want to create that lean muscular look. And that's always something that I've aspired to be. And I wasn't chasing that a few years ago. I was always like just chasing size and thinking I'm not going to eat big to get big. You know, not really taking any accountability for my food intake. And then when I started doing that towards end of 2019, uh, that's when, you know, things really started to change up for me. So I should have been doing years ago, but then that's when I got the best looking physique I've ever looked, in my opinion.
But the point is that you've got to max out what you've got, the hand you've got. And if you want to just look, you, you know, you'll be surprised. Like if you're not like looking your best at the minute, physically, you'll be surprised once you start tracking your workouts. Within a few weeks, you can see some good positive changes. Like I say, I've, I've got these um, dumbbells and this workout equipment now. Like, I've only been really at it like a week or so, and I'm already see, seeing positive changes in my uh, body composition. So it's really good. And yeah, so basically, you just got to max out the genetics you've got. If you've not got the best hand, so what? Deal with it. If you've got the best hand, you've got lucky you. Maybe you've got a career, maybe you can go on stage and really make a go of it. Um, for sure, it does make a difference on how you look in the fitness industry. But it's not all about that, but knowledge and obviously other stuff like that helps as well. Um, so yeah, guys, hope you're having a great, great day. And it is the 1st of Feb, so make sure you get a workout today because you know it's going to be good. It's going to make you feel good. And ultimately, that's what we're about. So we'll leave there. Hope you have a great day and see you tomorrow.